Hello friends, welcome again and let us prepare simplex table. 2 from the simplex table 1. We have selected y2 as key column, r2 as key row and 50 is our key element. r2 is our outgoing row, so we have to write the row at the place of r2 in the new table first. That, is, that will be r4. r4 will be r2 divided by key element 50 or 150th of R2 will be the formula of R4. So, 50 into 1 by 50 will be 1, 50 into 1 by 50 will be 1, 0 into anything 0, 1 into 1 by 50 will be 1 by 50, 24 into 1 by 50 will be 24 by 50 or 12 by 25. Okay. Now we can write R3 and the formula will be old row minus element in the same row in the key column 80 into the replaced row R4. Old row number minus sign element in the key column in the same old row that is 80 and multiplied by the replaced row. R1 minus 80 R4. R1 is 20 here minus 80 into 1. So it will be 20 minus 80. That means minus 60. Okay. Here it is 80 minus 80 into 1. So it is 80 minus 80 and 1. Now R1 is 1 here. 1 minus 80 into 0. So it is 1 minus 0. So 1. Okay. Now what? Hmm, it is 0 here. 0 minus 80 into 1 by 50. So it is 0 minus 80 into 1, 80 by 50. Minus 80 by 50 or minus 8 by 5. Always try to write the lowest possible value of the fraction. Here it is 40 minus 80 into 12 by 25. So it is 40 minus 960 by 25. Okay. We have to simplify this. What is going to happen? 40 minus 960 by 25. Let us take 25 as LCM. 25 by 125 into uh, 40. That will be 1000, is it? Minus 960, so it is going to 40 upon 25, so it will be 8 by 5, okay, 8 by 5. This is our first row of the new table, that is R3. Now, first of all, we have to write the variables. Since our first row was not selected as outgoing row or key row, no change in variable. R2 was selected as key row, its variable or the solution variable we have to drop it and at the place of S2 there will be Y2, the element of the key column in the previous table. The coefficient of S1 in objective function is 0 and that of Y2 is 7200. Now we can write ZJ values. 0 into minus 60 will be 0, 7200 into 1 will be 7200 and in this case also it will be 7200, uh, in this case it will be 0, in this case it will be 7200 divided by 50, so it will be 144, in this case it will be 7200 into 12 by 25, 7200 divided by 25. 288 divided uh, 12 by 288 that will be 1 by 24 okay now what delta values that is delta equals delta j equals to cj minus zj cj 4800 minus 7200 minus 2400 7200 minus 7200 0 0 minus 0 0 uh, 0 minus 144 equals to minus 144. Okay, now what? 
Now what? Mm, here this value is actually wrong. 7200 into 12 by 25. 7200 divided by 25 is 288. 288 multiplied by 12. I had divided it. Uh, 12 into 288. It must be 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, all the delta values are 0 or negative. So, this is the optimal solution of a maximization problem. This is the optimal solution. Now, what is the solution? Now, uh, this is originally the solution of a dual of minimization problem. The original primal was minimization problem. We write, <coughs> we wrote its dual. That was maximization problem. And this is the solution of that maximization problem. Now, when we write dual of an LPP and LPP with mini, uh, minimization objective and we solve the dual, the solution variable is not the variable which is shown in the dual, but the slack variables represent, the slack variables represent the original decision variables in the original primal. So, x1 and x2 are represented by s1 and s2. So, in case of s1, it is 0. In case of s2, it is minus 144. We have to ignore minus sign because here it is the share, result of arithmetic process only. As we know that in case of LPP, all the decision variables are greater than or equal to 0, that means they are always non-negative. So, uh, solution, rather optimal solution of the original primal x1 equals to 0 because s1 is 0 x2 equals to 144 because s2 is here minus 144 and max sorry minimum z because the original primal is minimization problem is 3456 let us check what was the original z z equals to 40x1 plus 24x2 40 into 0 plus 24 into 144 so it is 3456 this is the optimal solution of the original linear programming problem the objective of which is minimization now remember in our series of lectures on bigger method, we had discussed the same problem, rather the solution of the same problem through bigger method in our video lectures of bigger method 1 to 5. Please refer them. The same problem we had solved through bigger method. We had to prepare four simplex tables when we solved this problem through bigger method. Now the same problem through dual we have solved by preparing only two simplex tables. This shows the importance of writing a dual of minimization problem. That's it. Thank you very much.